Prince Harry a go crazy as William is expected to have a larger role at Charles' coronation than is customary. According to an expert, the Prince of Wales doesn't have a specific role in the traditional coronation service. Prince William could have a bigger role in the upcoming historic occasion, according to officials in charge of King Charles's coronation, an analyst claimed. There isn't a predetermined function for Princes of Wales to play during the coronation of a monarch, according to Dr. George Gross, visiting research fellow in theology at King's College London. Dr. Gross continued that organizers might decide to give William a role because he is essential to the firm. He stated to Express. Co. UK there isn't a defined role for the Prince of Wales because there wasn't always a Prince of Wales at the time of the coronation, but I imagine he will be more prominent, than other working members of the royal family. If you go far enough back in antiquity, you can find examples of monarchs who weren't even married when they were crowned. So it's not a position that's been written in, but I'm sure he'll have a major place, she said. According to Dr. Gross, the prince's importance will probably come from where he sits and where he stands in the procession. However he said, although they have flexibility, they could write something in to give him a greater position, they're in the service it's not required, the Princess of Wales, Prince William's wife, is rumoured to watch the coronation from the same seat at Westminster Abbey where the Queen Mother, Princess Margaret, and the then young Prince Charles watched it in June 1953. Prince William's role will likely be more defined than that of other members of the firm, though. Royal wives, sat in the royal box in 1953, that tends to be the custom, and I assume that will continue the same, there isn't a formal role for them, said Dr. Gross. Dr. Gross's opinions on the much-awaited coronation come months after those of Catherine Pepinster, a constitutional critic and novelist, who believes William may take a significant part in the event's planning. At the planning for the next coronation, and the new Reign webinar, which was presented by UCL's The Constitution Unit, Ms. Pepinster was questioned on who, in the event of a tie, would make the final decision about King Charles' future coronation. She answered, in 1953, there were actually two committees, the lead committee and the second committee, which carried out the tasks that the lead committee had planned to do. The Duke of Edinburgh was the key player and the one with the most influence in 1953. I wonder if Prince William, the newest Prince of Wales, will play a similar role this time. Added her, Prince William will likely be showing his muscles here, and I believe he will be pressing for the coronation to be significantly modernized. Yet, I also believe that the Queen's burial demonstrated that, rather than throwing out the baby with the bathwater, people do respond to traditional ceremonies with a splash of modernity. She said, the Duke of Norfolk is another important person who has historically led the organization of coronations throughout the years. The Archbishop of Canterbury will crown King Charles on May 6 at Westminster Abbey. With the exception of the co Nor Diamond, Queen Camilla will be crowned next to him while donning Queen Mary's crown. The Foreign Office and Number 10 are collaborating closely with Buckingham Palace to finalize the guest list, which will include the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, as previously revealed by Express. Co. UK. Only a few weeks will be given to those on the 2,000-person list to respond to questions from those in charge of planning the coronation. I was let down after making Queen Elizabeth's whiskey-infused chocolate mousse. According to a royal chef who has given a recipe for Queen Elizabeth II's preferred whiskey-infused chocolate mousse, she liked chocolate. I made an effort to prepare the recipe just for Express. Co. UK. I liked the outcomes, although there were certain things that disappointed me. When the late queen wasn't taking her favorite chocolate cookie cake on the road, 